Here's a simple classical guitar slash fingerstyle guitar arrangement of the famous lullaby by Johannes Brahms. First, I'll play this Brahms lullaby guitar arrangement through at 64 beats per minute, and I will show you the tab and notation on the screen as I play it. Then I'll walk through and show you the five different levels or phases that I go through when creating arrangements like this on the guitar. Level five is the complete solo guitar arrangement where the melody and accompaniment are independent musical parts played at the same time on one guitar, which is what I'm gonna demonstrate here first. You can get a free PDF of this arrangement with the link in the top of the description where you can download my free solo guitar arrangement pack, which this piece is part of. You can also get that by going to soundguitarlessons.com moon. Okay, here's a full demonstration of this Brahms lullaby classical guitar arrangement at 64 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. So that's the full arrangement, but let me walk you through kind of the levels that I make sure I can graduate through when I'm working on an arrangement like this to make it less intimidating to piece it all together. S level one is obviously just the melody. I'm gonna play through each of these for you and show you some notation and tab on the screen, uh, but just kind of play through them loosely or, or faster or not at tempo just to walk through to show you these kind of stages I like to go through. So obviously I wanna know the melody. <laughs> Okay, so just make sure I can play through just the melody and then I'll start to try to play the roots of the chords. And this forces me to make sure I understand what the chords are supposed to be, but just the root of each chord on the first beat of each me measure. Okay, so I'll go, it starts with G and then D, still on D. G, okay, mm -hmm. C, G, and then D, back to G, C, okay, that's already very challenging, but more kind of in a puzzle kind of brain way. And I, I think that's a very important step to take. I'm not just physically trying to memorize something. I'm really trying to think what root or what chord is happening and where's the root of it and can I keep the melody going with that. Um, it's quite challenging, um, but a, a really good step for um, working towards a full arrangement. The next step is just taking that a little further. We're gonna continue to play the roots. And I've talked about this before in some other lessons and in my finger style approaches and improvisation approaches and arrangement um, lessons and stuff like that. And this is to play constant quarter notes with the root of each chord as you play the melody. This is mainly to get a sense of independence between the fingers, the melody and the bass, and feeling like they're really separate things. So we have a steady quarter note bass going with the roots of every chord and the melody going. So something like this, I'll do it kind of fast and I'll fluctuate the time just to demonstrate through it. So here goes.
So a couple pauses, a couple gaps there that shouldn't be there if I was trying to like really uh, perform it perfectly. And I make sure that I can. I make sure that I can do it in time a few times in a row, really without making a mistake um, That with that exact approach, quarter notes, um, playing just the roots of each chord while the melody is going. That is a huge accomplishment for solo guitar, kind of independence of how you have two separate things going on that aren't um, dependent on each other for how they are the part that they are playing. So it's amazing. I have a great lesson about how to improvise with um, constant bass notes. I'll put a link to that in the description. Really cool lesson if you want to improvise over constant bass notes in that same way. So level four is playing the melody and trying to put actual chords in there anywhere we can where the melody is happening if we can play a chord at the same time. Just kind of together with it. We don't need to keep this constant bass thing going. You can a little bit if you're if you want to but I just think of this as its own step to start to see how some of the chords can fit with the melody. So we'd have da 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 Kind of these big chord shapes. It's kind of clunky, but a great practice to go through. And then, okay. Then. Okay, and then. Okay, so just putting a shape below the melody wherever I can. That's almost, a, if you do that in time, you basically, you almost have a solo guitar arrangement. You you do have a solo guitar arrangement, definitely. And you have kind of almost what some people would call a kind of a chord melody arrangement, loosely. Um, to really take it to the next level though, this next level that I actually demonstrated is can we make the accompaniment independent from the melody? So what I did for this, now that I kind of know the melody well, I can see it on the fretboard, hear it, I played it, I can work on the independence of the roots of the chords, and now I'm seeing some chord shapes in there. Really to make this independent, the two parts, what I like to think of an intentional kind of accompaniment pattern. And in this case, I'm using this accompaniment pattern, which will be referred to as the boom chuck chuck pattern in 3-4. Uh, there's a boom chuck version 4-4, Boom chuck boom chuck, but as three fourths boom chuck chuck boom chuck chuck boom chuck chuck boom chuck. So for every single chord, I'm just trying to think where, how can I keep that accompaniment going throughout the whole melody? So. So it sounds like so much more is happening, but if you separate everything, it's just doing this. Da, da, da. Whoops, messed that up. Da, 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 da. And then da, da. Okay, so I started doing something here in the accompaniment where I created, instead of D7, I had D7 over F sharp just to have a lower note there. So here's my accompaniment here. So if you think about the accompaniment by itself, it actually starts to just be really logical. And then it's a coordination challenge and just an execution kind of classical guitar technique challenge finger style technique challenge to play through it um, accurately that way. So. so I made some choices arrangement wise to move this over here so I could keep the, the uh, boom chuck chuck going, played an A in the bass as the um, fifth uh, second inversion of D7, you know, some choices like that that you don't have to be aware of when you're first getting started doing this. Um, but I'm just, it's just a little puzzle and I just want it to kind of feel clean as I do it. That's a fun G7 chord there leading to C. So this is really simple. On this C chord here, it's just going, just doing that. Back to the G. seems like kind of an interesting chord thing, but it's really just going um, in the bass, in the accompaniment, so, while the melody's on top. C, same thing, and then, so for me, it helps me make the choices without humming and hawing about, ooh, what should I put there, what should I do? It's like, can I just keep this going? Right, so I'd have 
it just tell it just decides for me like okay where should that be and of course i can make it more colorful and and embellish it in all kinds of ways later if i want to but it does a lot to just have an accompaniment pattern that is um something like what would just the bass player or the piano player or somebody play in the background that's just the simplest version of accompaniment and then can we do that at the same time as playing the melody so i hope that helps a little bit to break it down for you instead of just saying here's the arrangement and i'm going to play it and demonstrate it i wanted to talk through that a little bit in case that is valuable for you if you want the uh download of this just the exact arrangement tabs notation everything you can get it it's inside my solo guitar arrangement pack which is totally free there's a link in the top of the description to get it or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com moon there's a bunch of other arrangements in there that you'll get as well and every time i make a new arrangement i add it to that pack and this is a new one so when you download it even if you had the old version if you download it again you'll get the uh, solo guitar arrangement pack that has this Brahms lullaby arrangement in it if you're new ish to finger style guitar or solo guitar then I recommend watching my top four finger picking guitar patterns video next it's one of my most popular videos it is my most popular video on my channel the most watched video um, that's the top four finger picking patterns for guitar so if that's something that um, you don't know yet if you don't know some some basic accompaniment finger picking patterns then that is a great video to watch next I'll put a link to it right on the screen here if you're watching on YouTube and there's a link in the description if you want to get to it from there I post a new lesson video every week next week's lesson is about walking between chords when we are strumming a uh, very cool technique to kind of bring a chord progression to life and kind of play some bass notes that connect between chords so hope to see you in that lesson thanks for watching take care and happy practicing.